happen to things. Don't just let things happen to you. It's a fact that most people are average, and if you are satisfied with just being average, then stop listening right now. If, however, you want to be better, then turn up the volume. Most people do only what is asked of them. They are compliant. They meet the minimum expectation. The average person needs specific and repeated instructions. Is this you, and you don't even care? Then stop listening. But if you want to be better, take notes. Most people want to be paid more, and they will wait impatiently to be paid more. And then, just then, they might do more. Successful people, on the other hand, do more, knowing that someone will reward them for it sooner or later. Successful people know that doing something well will further develop their reputation and skill level. Those who become successful are engaged in the task or goal. They understand where they are and what they need to do to move toward the goal and to finish it well. Successful people are in the moment. Successful people don't need to be managed. They just need to be directed or charged with the duty. They don't just do the job. Successful people do it well and almost always above what is expected. Successful people often direct or guide how certain ideas and projects develop and mature as they bring new ideas to the table. Do you just meet the minimum expectation? If so, why are you still listening? It must be because you want to be better than you are. Most importantly, those who become successful happen to things, rather than just standing by and allowing things to happen to them. Successful people initiate. They reach out to people, seek knowledgeable advice, ask meaningful questions, and then they listen. They really listen. Successful people do not take criticism personally, but they take it constructively. They want to be better than they were. Successful people walk away from everything a winner. To the average person, it looks like the successful person is sometimes a loser. But the average person doesn't see what the successful person knows. The successful person walks away from the loss with knowledge and experience and is thus a winner. Successful people know that an education is expensive, but that ignorance costs even more. Successful people have self-esteem, and they know that self-esteem is not being better than others, but being better than they were. Successful people work towards being the best version of themselves that they can be. They take action today that their future self will appreciate. Successful people know that the best time to fix a problem is now and not later, because fixing something later is almost always more costly. For example, the tire on the car needs repair. The average person will say, it can wait, and the average person will experience a flat tire at the most inopportune time, like on the way to an important meeting or to catch an airplane, both of which are costly things. The successful person invests time now to save time later. The successful person does not play the role of the victim or martyr because the successful person knows that such does not serve him or her well. The successful person sees the goal and also sees the arduous path to reach the goal. The successful person knows that anything worthwhile takes effort. The average person just sees the goal, but not the path. The successful person anticipates change and takes appropriate action. Being successful is being proactive and not waiting. Being successful is to take calculated risks. It is not waiting for things to come to you. It means that you're on offense and happening to things. You're not on defense allowing things to happen to you. You are actively involved in your life, progress, and forward movement. You're not a lump asking for mercy or a handout. Successful people become the type of person who is sought by others. They become the type of person who would be difficult to replace. Successful people become the type of person who needs little to no supervision, for they are the type of people everyone wants to have on the team. Successful people know that becoming this type of person takes effort, and they know that they have the same amount of time in the day that all others have. It's how one invests one's time that matters. Successful people attract other successful people, and they encourage others around them to be better. Successful people are cheerleaders and inspire others. Successful people know that their work represents them long after they have finished it. Successful people budget their time and stick to it, while the average person takes hours to do a one-hour job. Successful people work to finish the task well in the time frame allowed, while the average person just plays at the task and drags it out to look busy. The successful person shows up early, even when he or she doesn't feel like it, while the average person makes excuses for being late or not showing at all. Happening to something always involves some degree of risk. You're putting yourself on the line, and there's a chance you could fail. So what? Every successful person knows that success is on the other side of failure. More often than not, you must fail several times before you succeed at anything. Could you ride a bike the first time that you tried? Did you give up and never learn? Did you learn the names and order of those squiggly little lines that we call the alphabet? Sure you did. When you were younger, you had not yet learned to quit. When you were younger, you had not yet learned to give up. So, who taught you to be a quitter, and why did you listen to them? 
Conversely, waiting for instruction and doing only what you're told involves no risk and carries no responsibility. It's playing it safe, and there's no reward in that. When you lessen the risk, you lessen the chance for reward. The average person might believe that he has eight years of experience on his job, when in fact he has one year of experience eight times. The successful person takes initiative, continues to grow, and makes himself more valuable to the team. There is a big difference between eight years of experience and one year of experience eight times. How does one make himself more valuable to the team? He continues his education, reads, and looks for opportunities. The successful person knows that opportunities are often contained within the complaints of the average person. The successful person knows that opportunities knock softly and are often disguised as something that looks like work. So how do you become the type of person who happens to things? You take action. You clearly write your goals. You share them with others. And you put them where you can read them every day. You can do it. But if not, one thing is for sure. Success isn't going to wait on you. Your success will find another partner.